You're supposed to look there, dude. Right there. Not at me. Right there. Hi. What up, y'all? Megan Slate. And what's your name? Samuel. Norwalk's independent sales consultant. We're going to talk about Facebook parties. You ready? I'm in my pajamas because I couldn't take myself seriously anymore. And when we party on Facebook, we party in our pajamas. It's the best. You stay home. You put your kids to bed. And you party on Facebook. It's awesome. First thing you need to know about having a Facebook party is that it's supposed to be fun. So please make it fun. And remember that Facebook really likes engaging comments. They want lots of commenting. Don't just sit and like stuff. You'll go to jail. Comment and engage with the people that are in your group. Yes, I party on groups. Better engagement, you can tag people, shows up more often in the news feed, and people can click join group. You can just send them the link and they can click join group if they want to join the group. Also, I love groups as well because it's really easy to go live and you can use an automated posting service if you want. When you party on Facebook, you need to be fun, right? We need to be fun when we're on Facebook. Also, you need your people to know that your host needs at least one booking. At least one booking. To unlock her host rewards, that's important. Your guest needs to know that. Your host also needs to know that and she needs to be working to secure at least one booking for her party to unlock her host rewards. One tip that I have found that works really well is to post a selfie of yourself holding a product that you know your host wants and letting people know when she has at least two bookings, she's going to get that prize. I'm serious. It's so fun. It's super fun. Make it fun, make it cool, never pressure, but offer the amazing gift that you know your host wants for two bookings. And then what I do is I let people know that the first two people to comment sold under my bookings post and get a date on my calendar are going to earn a free body cloth from me. Fun. Fun. <sighs> now what you're going to do when someone says yes to a Facebook party, I send them two dates. I party on specific dates at specific times, either eight o'clock or nine o'clock, usually on a weeknight. I let her choose between the two dates that I have available, right? Only send two dates, too overwhelming otherwise. She gets two dates to choose from. She picks the ones that she wants. I put her in a Trello board and I have a checklist. I forget. I forget. Then what I do is I ask her for her cell, email, and shipping address. And I make sure that I let her know that I'm gonna get her set up so that she's gonna receive some texts from me and she will be invited to her group a week before the party. <laughs> and then what I do is I have a project broadcast campaign that starts 14 days before her party. I give her Three what more. to post on Three Facebook. More. That's important. She needs to know what to say. So give her a picture. Oh, Four more. Four more. Give her a picture, give her some verbiage to post on Facebook so that she can tell her friends if they're interested in learning more, they can comment below her post. Usually what happens is that people get excited. So make sure that your host is posting on Facebook and you have a post ready for her to share so that she can get people excited. I also send my Facebook host an invitation that's specifically for their party, the date and the time, so that she can text that or message that out as well. The two weeks before her party, I am sending her easy texts with small tasks to do throughout the day. That's probably a text happening right now. So my host through Project Broadcast is getting specific texts for her Facebook party. Then with these tasks that she does, if she gets overwhelmed or there's too much going on in life, I just let her know, totally fine, do whatever you can we're gonna make it as fun as possible never pressure your host or make her feel bad if she gets overwhelmed it's okay it's life it's totally fine kind of like that moment right there you just gotta rock and roll go with the flow and make sure that you encourage her along the way when she does things that you've asked her to do go crazy and say awesome and thank you and what a great job you did posting make her feel like she's really doing a great job because you want her to feel encouraged because it can get overwhelming sometimes you'll do realize i'm in that i send my host with her free body cloth a host packet this is what my host packet looks like <laughs> And I write the date here and I have my face because she's never going to actually meet me, right? So I want her to know what I look like. That's me. That's me. That's me. Now, on this side, I make sure that I write her demo date and thank you for hosting with her name and I put a heart or something like that because I will look at something if it has writing on it, right? Personal writing. Like I know that somebody actually wrote something. 
I will pay attention to that. So this is baked. And then I put this in a sustainably made eco mailer. I was finding that my body claws were falling out of this, so I now put it in a mailer and seal it so it's not gonna fall apart. What's in my host packet? Let's should we show them? You wanna see what's in my host packet? Okay. Here's what I put in my host packet. First of all, I make sure that I give her her free body cloth because she got that because she hosted a party and I'm super happy about that and I want her to use that so that she can talk to her friends about it. I also include a sample pack. Easy try it kit you can make. It's got a sample enviro cloth. This is cut into fourths and a sample window cloth which is cut into sixths or night. So they've, she's got that and she's got some instructions here on how to use it. That's her little sample kit that she's got. I am also including a sample of our laundry detergent and our Ultrazyme dishwashing liquid. I also want to encourage her to be posting before and after pictures at least three times in the party. That makes the biggest difference. When she's used a product and she loved it and she posted before and after picture, that makes the world of a difference in a Facebook party. I also include some chemical information for her. This document changes from time to time, but I want her to be aware of why we're doing this party. And then she gets a checklist from me. This checklist is in the front and it gives her assigned tasks. I make sure that she knows it's okay if she doesn't do all of these tasks. No problem at all. But these are suggestions that seem to work well in Facebook parties and I want her to know what works well so that we can get her as many freebies as possible and so you beat the Facebook lots of tagging in here and personally inviting and lots of commenting and engaging inside the Facebook group. When she does all of these tasks, again, she doesn't have to, but if she does, she gets a $20 host credit from me. And I simply charge my credit card for that in her party and get her $20 off. One thing you will also need to know is that I offer my host, my Facebook party host, laundry detergent for a year when they have a $1,000 Facebook party. I include that in a secret word in a video that I send to her in my first text. My first text to her includes the date and I ask her to confirm the date and I ask her to tell me what the secret word is in my video. And in my video, I use loom.com and I show her some tricks on Facebook so that she knows how to maneuver in her group and I tell her that the secret word is free laundry detergent for a year and she can get that when she has a thousand dollar party. That's been super fun lately. I really love that. I think this month I had four thousand dollar Facebook parties and they loved getting that laundry detergent for a year. One of the tasks for my Facebook host, I want her to fill out a guest list. This can look like whatever you want, but I want her filling this out so that she's thinking about people that she might want to invite to her party. And again, I'm having her ask them personally before she asks them to the group. Don't invite people to the group or don't send them the link to join to the group. You can do either, invite them or send them the link. Copy and paste the link to the group and send it out and then people can click join group when they want to join the group. That's kind of cool. But I do want her tracking her yeses. Right? Is it important? It's important. We personally want to think of people that this is going to make an impact on their life and on their story. And so we are making sure that she is tracking people and helping her bring to mind people that might need this product in their home. She also gets a catalog and some instructions for how to use the product, just in case she forgot, or she might need some suggestions for how to use what for what. That's what's in her host packet. One thing that's really important is to include post-it notes in your host packet. You could handwrite this, but I was handwriting way too many post-it notes. Post-it notes make you want to read something. So I write on here something Here's special, one. awesome, about the month, and I put it on the host rewards. Boom. And then I make sure that it's easily visible, or I'll fold this in half and put it in her host packet so I make sure that she sees it. This one says, thank you so much for hosting. And it's simply saying like when she, I want her to send me a picture of the checklist when she's done with it and she will earn a $20 host credit from me. And I make sure that I say that I'm so excited for you. Ta-da, so that's my second, my first post-it note and I write her name at the top. This is the other post-it note that I add to her sample pack because I want her to make sure that she's using this to show people how Bye -bye. the product works. And I want her excited about the product and she's got to use it, right? Everyone excited. I stayed up until two in the morning cleaning when I got my first little enviral cloth. Two in the morning, seriously. So that post-it note goes on her sample pack, mm. like this. Boom, she's ready. Another thing I include in the host packet is information on joining. And one thing that you can be strategic about is making sure that you include in your text 
Make sure you include in your text asking her if she wants to turn her Facebook party into her launch party. If somebody just wants free, keep them as a Facebook party host. They're gonna make a great host. But if she is interested in partying on Facebook, you definitely wanna ask her if this is a good fit for her and if she could see herself doing parties on Facebook or even in person. Sometimes people love doing in-person parties even though they start out doing a Facebook party. So make sure that you include some kind of information, whatever that looks like for you, so that she sees how the joining part works and how the consultant part works, just so she knows that she can look at it and learn about it if she wants to. Now that we've got our host on board and ready to go, I try to be commenting on free posts as the party gets started. So she is added to her group a week before the party starts. And I have free posts about two a day, sometimes three, on educational value, important tips. These are things that are like how to cut down on paper towel waste, what a black light demo looks like when you're using a white versus Norwex, mechanical versus chemical cleaning, chemical statistics that might be informative for someone to know, before and afters of a product that you love, like the mop or the cleaning paste, something crazy that you want them to learn about, post it in your pre-post and make sure that it's all about value and helping someone see how it can impact their life. I'm sorry for all of the noise in this video. <laughs> That's important in your pre-post to make sure that you're engaging and commenting. If I don't see my host commenting on the pre-post, I will tag her in a few posts and help encourage her to get started. Commenting and tagging people that might need to learn about these products. I want my host thinking about people who want to reduce waste, people who might have skin sensitivities or any kind of respiratory problem. Those are people that might be encouraged by using our product. So we want to show them how the product works and we want them seeing the posts. Now, what I do is an eight o'clock and a nine o'clock Facebook party on an evening. So at eight o'clock, I have a one hour reminder post and I want them to post an engaging comment like a GIF, like tell me your style of cleaning or something like that. And then at eight o'clock, I'll post roll call. When I post roll call, I want to tag everyone that's a member of the group. And remember, people aren't going to be a member of their group if they haven't clicked join group. So they're not officially seeing the group until they have come out of preview mode and clicked join group. That's important. So everyone who's a member of the group, I have two screens open on my computer. One that has the group pulled up that says members. I click on members and I can see everyone that's in the group. On the other screen, I have roll call. And that's where I have posted a roll call post and I want them to answer three simple questions. Something like, what's your Norwex superpower? How do you know our host? And what do you hate to clean? If they answer all three of those questions and we have at least five people comment under the roll call, I'll do a drawing. I usually give away something like a body cloth. Something simple, something that I have on hand, something that doesn't cost a lot to ship. And what I do when I've posted the roll call is I tag everyone who's a member underneath the roll call. This is really cool. I learned this from Heather Owen. Thank you, Heather Owen. When you have tagged everyone in the roll call post, you can now comment underneath the post and everyone will get a notification. So when I add another post, I make sure that I comment under the roll call post, letting them know that the next video is up to be watched or that I'm going live in two minutes so that they get a notification and I'm doing the next thing so they wanna refresh their screen and make sure that they stay caught up with our party. After I post roll call, I'm posting a chemicals post. I am using currently Visly to use to post all of my pre-posts. So all my pre-posts for the week are automatically being posted by Visly. Facebook likes Facebook scheduler. They also like it when you attach your photos to your business page on Facebook. I don't really get it. I don't really know why, but apparently they like that. Thank you, Teresa, my amazing assistant, for this tip. So what you're gonna do is you're going to post your chemical statistics from your business page if you want to. But because I do a lot of Facebook parties, I need these posts scheduled. All these posts are scheduled using Facebook scheduler. That's where you just click on the little calendar button and you can schedule when the post is supposed to be posted on Facebook. I try to do about two to five minutes in between posts so it's not crazy overwhelming and Facebook likes that too. As I'm seeing my scheduled posts be posted in the group, I'm commenting and engaging and participating in the party with the guests. 
anyone who comments in roll call, I send them a friend request because I want them to be my friend. And I'm so excited that they're a part of this party. Then, after the chemicals post, which is post number two, I go live. I'm live for about 12 to 18 minutes sometimes. My goal is like 15. I talk about our lovely Safe Haven 5. I love that box. I talk about how cute it is and how for most people who are getting started with Norwex, that's the best place to start. I also am including Spiri sponges, the dryer balls, the body cloths. I'm mentioning the mop and how they can earn that in their starter kit if they wanna get started with Norwex. I also talk about the counter cloth box set because it's amazing for reducing paper towel waste. I'm also quickly mentioning the kitchen towel and the kitchen cloth. When I start live, you can click on the little people icon and you can tag people. This worked the last time I did it. Who knows if Facebook will change things down the road. You can click tag and then you can tag people in your live so that they can find you easily. I try most of the time to comment and tag my host so that she finds me in the live and I encourage her to tag her friends who really wanted to see the live demonstration to make sure that they find it okay. Super quick tip. I am currently using a cool little service called Be Live. You can have a free trial of it and you use the service on your computer and you can go live using their service. It's super awesome, it looks super professional and you can have someone join you. So at some point, if I wanted my host to join me in the live, I could send her a link and she could click on it and she could literally join me in the live broadcast. Super excited about this. I am not doing a live chicken demo. I'm not. Sometimes people aren't able to watch the live video and I want to make sure it's easy for them to find that demonstration because I feel like it was the one that made me go Right? I post that as a video, but I'm constantly referencing it in my live demonstration so people know that it's coming. So I post a chicken demo and I tag my host under that video so that she makes sure that she tags everyone. Why? Because it's a part of her checklist. I remind her, make sure you tag at least three to five people and the people that need to see that demonstration, I make sure she knows that she needs to tag them in that post. People go. People go crazy. They love that video. It's so amazing. After that, I am posting some before and after pictures. I'm also posting my specials. So I love to sell in levels. I think it works easier in the brain when you just post levels. So I have level one, two, three, four, five, and six. Um, and I have specific packages in there. The first one is the basic package and it goes all the way up to what I call the detox package. You could just do the Just Add Water package. That would work perfectly fine as well. So in my packages, I find it easier to just have people order a package. So I focus on that, um, but I also have some other products that I highlight in my custom album. And I am referencing that they need to go to the party link, which is in the group description, to order for their host to get credit. Sometimes after I'm done posting, I will go back and I'll edit the shop, shop, shop post, which is my custom album, and I will make it as an announcement so that I make sure that people see it at the top and I will go in and edit and add the party link because I'm not doing that when I'm scheduling the post just to make it easier. After I post the shopping link, I'm making sure that they see the special. So I'll add those as a comment underneath the shopping post um, and making sure that people see those specials are available to them. I'm also posting about the mop because it's my favorite and everyone needs it and people are clueless about awful disposable mop pads. Ugh, horrible for the environment and just smearing around nasty residue and sticky chemicals on their floors. Pets, babies, they all need this mop, people. They need the mop. So I'm posting about the mop and getting them excited about that and letting them know if they're interested in earning the mop for free, they might wanna think about hosting because my hosts on average are earning $200 in free product and most of them are getting a discounted or free mop when they host a party. Also, I'm posting something about bookings. It's a selfie of me holding up two body cloths and I let them know that the first two people to comment sold and to get a date on my calendar are going to earn a free body cloth in their host packet. I let them know that our host needs at least one person to book a party, a Facebook party, so that she can get her freebies in her host rewards. We want her to unlock those host rewards and she needs at least one person to book a party to do that. I also play Ask Me About My Job. So I have a post where I encourage people to ask me a question about being a consultant or about hosting a party. This can get really fun. When people start to ask questions about the job, I try to engage with that post the most because I want them knowing that they can do this job just like me and work from home in their pajamas 
with their kids running around crazy, or they've tucked their kids into bed and they're working from home late in the evening. Win, win. If someone expresses interest and seems to be engaging and asks me about my job post, I will message them and ask them if they'd like more information on joining. If they say yes, I'll send them an Evernote document with more information laid out and I follow up the next day in a message asking them what they thought about it and if they had any questions. Super easy, I'm just making sure people know the information and what's available to them. And that I would be excited for them to join my team if they're interested in partying on Facebook. When people order through the Facebook party, I am making a post about them. Thank you so-and-so for your order through Sally's party. Thank you so much, you're going to love it. I definitely make sure that I post about them so that they know that I am grateful to them. And it shows the host who's ordering, which is helpful to her to help her stay updated on who's ordered and who hasn't. If someone books a party, I'm also making a post about that and saying thank you to them for booking a party and helping our host unlock her host rewards. The last post that I have talks about commenting five times in the party. When people have commented at least five times in the party, I have them comment done under my surprise drawing post. And after they comment done, I will draw a surprise drawing out of the people who have done at least five comments in the party. That one's super fun. Usually have two to five people who are completing that challenge. The next day after the party, I make sure that I draw for winners. I always forget to do this. So usually I have someone help me with this or I'm just really late in doing my drawings. I need to add something so that I stop forgetting to do the drawings because obviously people are engaging because they love the prizes and the drawings. So I need to work on this. I somehow I'm going to remember to do these drawings and I am sending a personal private message to every person that was a part of the party. If they ordered the night of the party, I make sure that I say thank you and I let them know that my Facebook group is available to them, that they can join it if they want to learn more or check out sales or tips that I might have down the road. I'm asking someone that hasn't ordered yet, but maybe was a part of the party, if they would like me to send them the party link. I'm not asking if they want to order. I'm simply asking if they would like the party link. That's it, super easy, but I'm doing follow up to everyone and thanking them for being a part of our host's party. Now, once we've closed the party, I am sending out customer follow up via project broadcast. When I send that out, I let them know that when they post a selfie of themselves in my Facebook group, they are going to go into a monthly drawing. This is super fun because people will post cute pictures of themselves with their Norwex and it's really exciting and other customers love seeing what people ordered. They're gonna post their selfie in my Facebook VIP group and I also am going to mail them their freebie. I am offering every person who orders through the Facebook party a small freebie. It's not a big freebie, it's just a little guy. It's a travel enviro or a dishcloth or maybe a body cloth or a sample of the face line. She is going to get a catalog from me if she didn't get one in her order and she's also gonna get a little sample of our laundry detergent, my business card, a coupon, and some instructions and a cute little letter that has some writing on it. And I let her know about my buying club, about my Facebook group where she can learn more, and that I'm so grateful for her order and how much her host earned for free in her party. That's important. My follow-up also uh, make sure that they have a video if they wanna watch and learn more about the product. So again, each person gets their freebie and a cute little gift. I'm also including a scratch off coupon. It could be however you want. You could just put it in your letter if you want. You could print out something small. You could put on a post-it note, but you're giving them a little coupon to incentivize them to order again down the road. I'm also giving my host 20% off her host order after she puts through her free Norwex host reward money. So I'm giving her an extra 20% off and I let people know that our host is getting an extra 20% off her order because she's hosting a party. A lot of times, that's why they buy mops. When I close the party, I've done my follow-up, I've got my mailings out. Again, make that whatever fits you best. If you just wanna send a little envelope with a cute little note and a small little enviro cloth or a small whatever freebie they earned, you can send it in an envelope. Not that expensive to mail out, but let them know that you're grateful to them and they got something from you in the mail. Yes, super great, good customer service. Then I post a picture of my host, whatever her profile Facebook picture is. I make a graphic that says, thank you so much, their name for hosting with their picture. I talk about in the picture, I include how much she earned for free and how much her party was sometimes. Now, 
If it was a small party, I'm not gonna put that she had a $20 party and earned $1 in free Norwex. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna say thank you. But for the people who earn a significant or pretty decent amount of free product, I make sure that I include that in the letter that I send to all of the people that ordered through my host party. And I'm also blasting that in my VIP group so people see what is possible when you host to earn for free. If they have had a $1,000 party, they're earning free laundry detergent for a year. I am shipping that via shopping spree money from Norwex. Thank you, Norwex. Love you. I'm sending her either two bags of powder or two liquid laundry detergents or one of each. She can choose. When she has a $1,000 party, she's going to earn those extra laundry detergents from me and I am shipping them via a shopping spree. I make sure that in my VIP group, everyone knows that she had a $1,000 party and she earned laundry detergent for a year for free. And that's it. That's my Facebook party. After I party on Facebook, I go to bed. This is where I party on Facebook, actually. You wanna check it out? These are all my supplies. This is what I use for my Facebook party. I have a little mirror, my box. I usually set it right here. And I have my products that I demonstrate in these cute little baskets underneath my coffee table so that my house doesn't look like a Norwex party all week long. Bye, guys. Happy Facebook partying.